Welcome to another edition of Highland News. I'm Amber. And I'm Maddie. This is the last Friday of the school year. We are starting the show with a message from Superintendent Johnson. With the school year coming to an end, Mr. Johnson has some final words for students and staff. Valley City Public School students and staff members, uh, Mr. Johnson. And uh, it is Friday, May 21st, and we have three and a half days left of this school year. 2020-2021 is coming to a close. And let's all be the, the first to say that this has been a, a year unlike any other that any of us have ever experienced and will hopefully ever experience in the future. Uh, I wanna take us a, a step back here in a moment as we reflect on this school year. And first and foremost, uh, some things that stand out to me is um, the effort, the hard work, the sacrifices, um, everything that went in from our students to our staff members to our parents to our community members rallying together and accomplishing our, our primary goal and that was to be in person in schools each and every day of this school year. There's absolutely no way that that would have been able to be accomplished without contributions from everybody along the way. Now of course uh, that was no easy task as we went through the school year. We had significant challenges uh, from the start of the school year, uh, sending students home in quarantine uh, only days into the school year, to hitting that point in October and November when we had literally uh, hundreds, if not more, students, staff members that were out of our school. And, and so we know the challenges that were created when students and staff members were out of our school, but again, what stands out to me and will forever be ingrained in my mind is the resolve, the collective effort um, between students, between our, our teachers, um, connecting in creative ways, whether that uh, was uh, virtual means or computer or cell phone or whatever else that was. Uh, um, just again, at the end of the day, uh, I'm so impressed, so grateful um, to be your superintendent and to have, hop, have this opportunity to be able to serve the school district. So as we look forward, uh, the three and a half days left of the school year, I truly wish that each and every one of you guys will have the opportunity to be able to, to think back and to be able to uh, appreciate your contributions and everything that you put in um, in order to make this, this year a successful school year. Um, we are Valley City strong and all of you should be Valley City proud. I hope you all have a tremendous summer. Good luck to our graduating class of 2021. You guys have developed so much character and so much strength and you'll be so successful going forward. We will miss you and for everyone else, including the incoming kindergartners, uh, we'll look forward to seeing you guys all in the fall as we hit the reset button and start new at Valley City Public Schools in 2021-2022. Have a great summer. Reporting for Highlander News, this is Luke Wendell. Thank you, Mr. Johnson, for all you have done to make it possible for us to attend school all year. We appreciate your hard work and dedication to education. Track and field provides athletes with a chance to excel in many different events. Recently, two seniors swapped events for the day. Reporter Luke Wendell shows you the results. On this version of Sports Swap, we'll have two athletes swap within track. So just like swing your elbow like this. <laughs> I just shot foot and javelin. I don't feel like I'm doing this right. <laughs> I normally run distance and do triple jump. Oh, jeez. <laughs> After shot put, we headed to the javelin field. So I just hold like, like this, right? Yep. All right. Put your hand on the back of the hand. Oh, the back of the hand. All right, there. Okay. And straight arm. Straight arm. And throw it through. Oh, okay. So you just want to throw it as far as you can. No, no, not no. right now. Uh, <laughs> like that. Yep. Thanks. Yep. And you okay. just go one, and you kind of like jump and throw. Oh, it's like. What? <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> now I will go and have Jayton jump in the pits. I do shot and disc.
after practicing, let's see what they think. <laughs> Not good, <laughs> especially on shot put. There's a reason I don't do long jump. Just throwing the shot put. It's like heavy. Like <laughs> I couldn't really throw it. It was just like, I couldn't get the form down. It was like weird. It was like, ah. Getting off the ground. Probably just like the footwork and stuff. That, that seemed to come pretty easily. We're running in a straight line. Yeah, I'd probably do it again, especially Jeff. That was fun. As stated before, I am not built for this. For Highliner News, this is Luke Wendell. At the beginning of the year, we introduced Makai Studio Ballet. Reporter Luke Ploggins shows us their spring performance. Micaiah's Studio of Ballet is holding its annual spring production, but 2021 is different. Instead of the normal in-person performance, they're recording a video due to COVID guidelines. It will feature ballet, lyrical, tap, and hip-hop styles done by the different classes. While there were some rewarding parts of the footage, others were a bit more off track. This year, the studio started classes with dancers aged three to five years old. So let's hear how they thought this year went. <laughs> Next, for family night, you will get some candy. What? Family night. What's your guys' favorite part about dance? What do you got? Even though dance has been a little wild, everything's going to turn out fine and this is going to be a very rewarding show. So please stay tuned. For Highliner News, this is Luke Ploggins. Every Wednesday morning, there's a group of students that meet for prayer. Reporter Jordan Klein brings you the story. Student-led prayer is a group of people who get together every single Wednesday morning now. Um, anybody is welcome, but we all just get together and usually a Bible verse is shared and kind of explained like how this Bible verse can help us through the week and then we get in a circle and we go around and we each pray for um, our week and that it will go well and all of our needs and we pray for others. And there's two leaders, it's me and Jordan and we are the ones that pick the Bible verse and um, talk about it. My favorite parts, I like picking out the Bible verse and sharing that because I like having to go through the Bible and find a Bible verse that can all help us through the week. So when it's finals, it's always fun to find a Bible verse that can just make us feel like we can get through it. Student-led prayer has impacted the younger students as well. I love student-led prayer because it has helped me grow closer to Jesus and like come together in prayer and teach me how to pray better. It's really fun to have people surround you who love Jesus and it's really fun to pray with other people. Reporting for Highliner News, this is Jordan Klein. Did you know that Valley City has a locally owned pharmacy? Reporter Luke Ploggins shows us this special little business. Central Avenue Health Mart was opened in August of 1989 and it has grown since then. In 1989 it was a thousand square feet and then in 1992 we expanded to 500 or 5,000 square feet and then in 19, no, 2007 we expanded to the 10,500 square feet. I wanted to open up a pharmacy because I wanted to help people and be able to be accessible to answer their questions about their prescriptions and over-the-counter medications. In addition to being a pharmacy, this business offers many goods and services. Well, we have a, a full pharmacy line and then we have over-the-counter medications including natural products and essential oils. We also have uh, toys, gifts, crafts, fabric, uh, puzzles and outdoor decor. Being a locally owned business also helps Doreen connect with customers better. We're the only locally owned pharmacy in Valley City and we've been here for the 32 years um, helping people 
finding things, if there's something that we don't have on our shelf, we do everything that we can to find it to be able to get it in for the people. We're open Monday through Friday, 9 to 5.30, and Saturdays, 9 to 1. For Highliner News, this is Luke Ploggins. Ready for finals next week? Maddie Knight shows the high school students where they should be. Thank you for joining us for this edition of Highlander News. I'm Maddie. And I'm Amber.